Hi everybody, welcome to Best of the British Blackwell. Sorry I've been away for a while, but there's a very good reason for that. I've recently moved house, hence you can see a new setting around me, new kitchen. I'll give you a little tour of that, or you'll get to see that obviously as we make a, a few more videos. Um, this weekend, I'm gonna be making two videos for you. One is going to be a viewer request, um, which will be a beef wellington. I've made that, I'll be uploading that a little bit later on. But the first video that I'm uh, gonna show you today is a little bit of an experiment because I've got a new gadget and I wanna show you um, how it works. Not that I know how it works myself yet. So it's a little bit of an experiment. I'm gonna be making some garlic, uh, roasted garlic alioli, alioli, um, which um, everyone loves and we have quite a lot when we go abroad to the Mediterranean countries, but don't tend to make it ourselves enough back here. So uh, come over, have a look at our ingredients and uh, more importantly, I'll show you the gadget that I'm gonna be using to help me make it. Okay, so for this garlic alioli, what we're gonna be using is my new toy, which is a Sage smoking gun uh, by Heston Blumenthal. So I picked this up um, recently, never used it before. Gonna have a go at using it today. One of the recipes in there is for this roasted garlic alioli. So let's give it a go. The ingredients are very simple. We've got a whole garlic clove here. We're gonna use uh, two egg yolks, some olive oil, uh, mustard, salt and pepper. Step one is very, very simple. Um, you just lean on the garlic clove to loosen it up a tad. As you put pressure on it, you can feel the bulbs falling apart, which is quite handy. Some salt, some pepper, a drizzle of olive oil, and then what we do, is we wrap this up in some tin foil, nice and tight. That goes in the oven for 30 minutes. Okay, so our garlic clove has been in the oven now for about 25 to 30 minutes. Still very hot. So just open this out. And what you'll find has happened is the garlic has softened beautifully. So what we need to do, we need to set this aside and let this cool. And then a little bit later on when it's cool, we're gonna to start to peel it, take the skin off of it, and get ready to introduce it to the rest of the alioli that we're gonna make. Okay, so we've let the uh, garlic cool down now. And as you can see, I've started to take the uh, garlic out of its skin. Very, very easy to do. Just get a knife, cut over the front, all the way down, and then it peels really easily. Because we're gonna be blending this up, it doesn't really matter if the uh, garlic starts to fall apart. It's very, very soft anyway, so it will go quite mushy. Uh, you don't need to worry about that. Just peel all the pieces of garlic, as you can see this one's split as well, but you know, you're looking for that kind of texture. I mean, it's really, really soft and squeezy and very juicy and very nice. Now we're gonna move on to the next step of the alioli. Now, for that, we're going to need the food processor or the blender. Uh, which I have right here. And what we do to this, we add, oh, hopefully that's in shot, lovely. To this, we add our two egg yolks, uh, which I've managed to uh, split and crack, which is not ideal. Let's get this straight in there. In addition to that, it's at this stage that we add some English mustard. I add about half a teaspoon. Gives it a nice bit of heat. Um, I have a good crack of salt and pepper. And we place the lid on. Um, this is gonna be quite loud, so I'm not gonna talk over this, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on, blend those two ingredients together, and then start to add the oil, which is extra virgin olive oil, slowly through the top of the processor here, and this will start to thicken. Thank you. 
Okay, so we've added all the oil. And what I'm gonna do is give you a nice close up of the texture that we've got in here at the moment. I'm not gonna take these blades out, but there we go. Look at that. That's the kind of texture you're looking for. That's, uh, that would make a beautiful mayonnaise just on its own. Uh, but we're gonna add some, um, some garlic to that now. We're also gonna add some lime juice into there now. So let me, uh, let me crack on with this. Uh, we put this back on. Excuse my fingers, they are clean, I promise. Let's put that in here. Now, into this mix. Slowly but surely, we're gonna add the garlic to taste because we don't want the garlic to overpower all of the other ingredients in there. You still wanna get some of the mustard, mm -hmm. you still wanna get the lime. Uh, the lime juice is what we're gonna add now. You can add lemon juice if you want, but I like to add lime juice. It just gives a slightly different dimension to the taste. Add that straight in. And I'm gonna go in with one, two, four garlic cloves to start. And then we give that Lid back off. Let's grab our spoon, which I'll quickly rinse off. Let's give that a taste. Mm. Nice, but needs more garlic. So, I'm gonna add another four cloves of garlic in there. Mm. Really taste the lime juice in there, it's beautiful. Mm. Now we're starting to get there. I'll be honest with you, I've only got two more uh, cloves of garlic left. So I'm gonna add those in there. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the lime juice. And I'm gonna add a little tad more mustard as well. Uh, there is quite a lot of oil in this dish. So don't be scared to add some bold flavors to compete with that. Let's give it another blitz. blitz. And then we're going to move on to the part where we smoke, smoke this. You're probably wondering how we smoke this out. Okay, so we're now on to the, uh, the key part of this video, I suppose, which is uh, showing you how to use this Sage smoking gun. Um, it's a very simple device. It only comes in kind of three parts, if you like. You've got the main um, gun here. You've got a, um, a kind of smoke, a smoke chip. Um, holder, if you like. I can't really think of a better word to use to describe that. That clips clips onto there. There's a little button at the back. Um, you've got low power or high power. And then you have the off button. Finally, you've got a, a rubber hose, which you connect into here. And then you can pass the uh, the smoke off into, um, into, your, into your food uh, via that. The box, um, it contains a few recipe cards, one of which I'm doing, which is the, uh, the smoked garlic alioli. There's lots of different recipe ideas in there. Quite handily, they also give you some um, applewood uh, chips and some hickory chips. We're going to be using the, uh, the hickory today, so I'll leave that to one side. And also, on the, um, on the chip holder, there's a little mesh, um, wire mesh uh, filter at the bottom there, and they also give you a packet of uh, 20 spare uh, mesh filters, which is handy because I suppose they get um, they get damaged quite quickly. Now, um, what we're going to do is put the box to one side, bring our food back over here, and we're going to get our smoker ready on this side here. A couple of disclaimers before using this product. Um, it is going to be quite hot around this area here, so mind your hands. Uh, secondly, um, this is producing smoke, so if you are um, cooking in a property with uh, smoke detectors and so on, make sure you've got windows shut, um, uh, sorry, windows open, uh, doors shut, or maybe even disable the smoke detectors uh, just before you use the product. 
but certainly make sure that you put them back on afterwards. Um, I've got my windows open here and my doors shut leaving out to the smoke detector so hopefully I should be alright but we'll, uh, we'll find out in a minute. Uh, the way you work it is very simple, you get a few pinches of the, uh, the chips that they give you. Actually it might be better to, to pour a few in there, just like that. Um, hopefully you can see, let me show you how many I've put in there. So not too many, but just about enough I think. Um, and then what you do, if you take the hose, you put it inside the cling film that you've uh, wrapped your, your food in, so that the smoke passes off inside it. Then we grab a lighter, start the ignition and light the chips. And immediately you can see the smoke filling this bowl. Then what you do is turn it off, take the hose out, close the cling film. And as you can see, the uh, hickory chips almost uh, distingu extinguish themselves immediately. The smoke stops almost immediately. And we're left with a bowl full of smoke. That's how you're smoking the product. Three minutes is up. What I'm gonna do is lift this cling film, release this smoke. Wow. Bit of theater for you there. Now what I'm going to do is stir the alioli. And I'm going to run the infusion process just one more time. Okay, five minutes later, again, release the smoke and get rid of this clean film now. What I'm going to do just transfer it from this bowl into this one. There you have it. We've got smoked roasted garlic alioli made using the sage smoking gum. Um, and I'm just serving it up here with some mini bruschettas. Mm. Absolutely superb, big thumbs up. I'm gonna show you a few more recipes using that smoking gum as well. However, Stay tuned, because later on this weekend I'll be uploading my beef wellington recipe. So, thanks for watching, see you again soon.